sir. Recently on August 16th, we mm. have a very good launch of SRO, SSLV, right? right? Generally, what is so special about SSLV? No, it is a very good question because uh, recently ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization, sir. has developed a new type of rocket or launch vehicle. Polar satellite launch vehicle and GSR, communication satellite yes, sir. or remote sensing satellite. Yes, sir. Containing information data mm -hmm. about um, river, lakes, forest, oceans. And last point which I would like to add about small satellites. Since they are small in size, they produce less space junk, yes, sir. debris. Debris will be If you look at outside India, let's say USA or Europe, other countries which are again ahead of in the space program. A lot of uh, private players are making their mark, like Elon Musk, mm. they have SpaceX, yes, then Richard Branson, yes, Virgin Galactic. Yes, so we need to bring private players into this components. Okay. That's Atman Irvar Bharat, yes, Make in India program. Yes, I'll give uh, one example, Space Kids India. Mm. They have built Ajadi Sat, mm. they have built Kalam Sat, mm. these are student satellites. Yes, okay. Even for this uh, launch, mm. there's Anant Technologies Private Limited. Mm is a startup company. Many of the components have been built by Hello everyone, welcome to Amigos IAS. Today I have the pleasure of welcoming back Neeraj Nitskeza sir. Hi sir. Thank you sir. <laughs> So, as all of you know, we have done a podcast with Sir a few months ago. So, again, he's back in Hyderabad. I'm very happy for that. And he's our both science and technology and environment biodiversity faculty. So, today we are going to discuss some brief points on happening, hot and happening issues on both science and environment friends. Hi, sir. How are you? Hello, sir. I am very good. And I hope you are also doing very good. Yes, sir. And I am very, very glad to be back to Amigos. So, welcome back to the city of Nawabs again. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> So, sir, recently on August 16th, we mm. have a very good launch of ISRO, SSLV, right? Right, so, sir. Generally, what is so special about SSLV? Right. That is what I want to know from you. No, it is a very good question because uh, recently ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization, sir. has developed a new type of rocket or launch vehicle, what has been given name SSLV, sir. small satellite launch vehicle. Now, one has to understand what is small satellite. See, small satellites are those which weigh in a range of 1 kilogram to, let's say, 100 kilograms. Okay. So, there's something called nano satellite, yes, micro satellite, mini satellites. Mm -hmm. And these are satellites uh, now in big demand. Mm -hmm. Even foreign countries, uh, they want this kind of small satellites. So, now what earlier we were doing, we were launching small satellite using PSLV and GSLV. Yes. Polar satellite launch vehicle and GSLV. Now, the question is that, in order to launch small satellites, we, we were spending crores of rupees hmm. for build, building a big rockets okay. Okay. like PSLV or yes, GSLV. Yes, so, ISRO came out with more viable solution. Hmm. Let's, let's have a, a rocket or launch vehicle hmm. which, which will be only for small satellites yes, sir. and it can launch up to 500 kilogram. Okay. Single rocket okay. can go for 500 kilogram hmm. and up to 500 kilometer orbit okay. we can launch there. And this way we can earn revenue also yes. by launching small satellites from private companies mm -hmm. or foreign countries. Mm -hmm. So this was the idea which okay. Okay. made this rocket possible. Okay. So to summarize, it's like, you know, a small bus or a van for uh, space rather mm -hmm. than sending a big, big rockets, we are mm -hmm. uh, shrinking the sizes and it is also correct. Okay, nice, sir. So what is the utility of these kind of satellites, sir? Like why, mm -hmm. why is there so much demand? As you mentioned, every country wants to launch small satellites, right. right? So how is it directly linked to SSLV utility? Yes, the, you have asked a good question again. Utility of such small satellites. The reason is that, see a big satellite whenever we make, that is a multi-purpose satellite. Like for example, communication satellite yes, sir. or remote sensing satellite. Yes, sir. And it requires a lot of amount of money. But now technology has advanced mm -hmm. where we can miniaturize it. Mm -hmm. That cameras, the transponders, the instrument part of it. So the purpose or utility of a small satellite is that it doesn't take too much of uh, expenditure. Okay. So it saves a lot of money. Yes, it will do the same task. What a big satellite can do, mm. small satellites can also do it. Okay. Another utility is that single purpose. Let's say we want to have earth observation. Okay. 
containing information data yeah. about um, river, lakes, forest, oceans. So for that purpose, we can have specific type of small satellite okay. that can be built there. Okay, sure. Now for communication satellites, now what is things happening? Okay, instead of having single big satellite mm -hmm. in geostationary orbit, mm -hmm. that's somewhere around 36,000 kilometers, yes, right? Which requires again a lot of money in not only, not only making satellite, but also a lot of fuel is required for rocket to take to yes, such a distance. Yes, sir. So rather than we can place in low earth orbit, mm -hmm. up to 500 kilometers, mm -hmm. multiple satellites, just almost like a, you can understand like a, a relay stations mm -hmm. or uh, towers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we can have more faster communication. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So those utilities are being now mm -hmm. with this a part of another one, one, one last point, which I would like to add about small satellites. Since they are small in size, they produce less space junk, yes, sir. debris, debris will be less. and we can easily bring it down on the earth. Okay. Okay. Because now a big problem in space, space is that space overcrowding of space. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That also we can eliminate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's like they can be built in a less amount of time. They yes. can be launched easily and they can cover uh, very right. nicely. Mm -hmm. okay. So lastly, like what is the push that startups and ISRO are giving mm -hmm. to each other in this particular regard? Right. What is no, the role of startups? Yeah. Because uh, what happened, government, uh, yeah, ISRO comes into Department of Space, DOS. Now we want more private participation in space sector. Mm -hmm. The two reasons of that. First is that uh, if you look at outside India, let's say USA or Europe, other countries which are again ahead of in space program, a lot of uh, private players are making their mark like Elon Musk. Mm. They have SpaceX, yes, then Richard Branson, yes, Virgin Galactic. Yes, so India should not be left behind because in other countries, uh, such uh, private startups are picking up. So that is one reason is that. Second is that many of the things what we use in satellite launch vehicles, we have to import from outside. Okay. So our manufacturing sector mm -hmm. in terms of building the components of satellites, okay. launch vehicles, yes, that also need a boost. Okay. So we need to bring private players into this components. Okay. That's Atma Nirbhar Bharat, yes, Make in India program. Yes, That's why private participation becomes very important. Mm. And what I believe that uh, private companies, when we promote startups in space sector, that is going to boost our economy in long term. And now Bangalore, Hyderabad, many such places, we are now seeing those kind of new startups in space sector. Yes, sir. I'll give uh, one example, Space Kids India. Hmm. They have built Ajadi Sat. Hmm. They have built Kalam Sat. Hmm. These are student satellites. Yes, sir. They are doing the space sector market there, hmm. and that will also open a market, space services market. Yes, sir. Right, that yes. will be there. So now DOS has come with a, a new company called NSIL, hmm. Hmm. New Space India Limited. Hmm. Earlier we had Antrix, Antrix. but now yes, NSIL. Yes, Through that we want to promote domestic startup companies, hmm. Hmm. and we can boost our economy and provide more better space services yes, to our citizens yes, that we are doing. Okay. Even for this uh, launch, mm -hmm. there's Anant Technologies Private Limited mm -hmm. is a startup company way back 1992. Oh. Now PSLV rocket or our satellites, many of the components have been built by Anant Technologies Private Limited. Yes, it has a headquarter in Hyderabad, mm -hmm. Bangalore, yes, Trivandrum. Yes, so such kind of startup companies will get more space to come into a space uh, sector and develop more advanced technologies. Yes, sir. So it's it's like it will also have a positive spillover right. where people will develop scientific temper. More yes, people yes. will be interested in space. Correct. And uh, uh, you are an alumni of IIT. So yeah. IIT had a huge role. IIT Madras had a huge correct, role correct. to play in the space right, development. Right. So all these things are good signs for India, right? Sir? Yes, good signs for India. This will uh, actually take the ranking of our country to our next level. And also motivate youths yes, to come into the field of space technology. So we can proudly say, yeah. Mera, like, you know, Bharat Mahan. Mera Bharat Mahan. Mera Bharat Mahan. Vixit Bharat and uh, kind of. Yes, sir. So to reach yes. all those things, space technology is very important. Very so important. Hope, hope this discussion on SSLV has given you some insights, folks. So uh, do keep reading, uh, you know, Amigos IAS current affairs blogs, where SAR will also be giving us some new insights on the mm -hmm. same topics. Uh, thank you one and all. No, thank you everyone uh, for watching this and thank you sir for this. Thank you.